News 5 at 5 starts now. Now at 5 o'clock, it has been 30 years since a teenager was found murdered in Portage County. And now detectives and the FBI are looking for new clues about who killed Catherine Menendez. There's always hope, you know, or we wouldn't be here. News 5's Bob Jones was there as Catherine's body was exhumed and spoke with investigators looking for answers and with a priest praying for justice and peace. My concern for, for Catherine is that um, I want the woman to rest in peace. Father David Weichart watched and prayed as investigators from the Portage County Sheriff's Office, the U.S. Marshal Service, and an FBI evidence collection team exhumed the body of Catherine Menendez at St. Joseph Cemetery in Alliance, where she was laid to rest in 1994 at the age of 17. Well, I am here uh, just to be a presence and so that the body is, I, I can make sure that the body is handled in a reverent way. Chief Deputy Ralph Spitaleri says the exhumation 30 years after the murder took a lot of finesse and care over a three hour period, removing a concrete vault and casket from the ground and collecting evidence under a big white tent. You do not want to disturb uh, any movement within the casket as you're as you're as you're pulling it out. Investigators say they've been following fresh leads over the past two years and got a court order to have the body exhumed. They're hoping significant advancements in DNA will lead to new clues and the killer. We collected uh, evidence that would have been potentially on the on the hands. Catherine disappeared in 1994. Her body was found days later by the Berlin Reservoir on an oil access road in Portage County. She had been strangled and stabbed and she was left unclothed. Her mother, Janet Menendez, who passed away earlier this year, spoke about her anguish in 2015 when investigators were re-examining the crime scene. Kathy, you know, they can find who, who murdered her and it's not going to change anything for me because my life's not going to, my life's not going to change. Kathy's not going to come back. Also in 1994, the body of 14-year-old Sarah Ray Baim from Pennsylvania was found about a half mile from where Catherine's body was discovered. Detectives say it's possible the same person is responsible for both killings. But for now, at this cemetery, the focus was on Catherine's case. Investigators are hopeful there could be a big break in the cold case. I think that there's there's always hope, you know, or we wouldn't be here having the amount of, of uh, manpower and amount of, uh, you know, m movement that we've had here today. Catherine's remains were returned to her final resting place. Father Weichart is hoping for justice and peace. Well, I trust the mercy of God and whatever the poor woman, whatever torment she, that ended her life, I, I hope that she's in peace in our Lord's arms. Evidence from the remains will be taken to a lab to be tested. It's not clear yet which lab or how long it will take to get those results back. In Alliance, Bob Jones, News 5. Think about their families, what they're going through all over again, too.